First on BBC One, forget the pupils. Rachel has a lesson to learn in blackmail. I never forget a face. And by the look on hers when she saw mine, neither does she. It's her, all right. You're proposing a new training centre? I've done a bid for it. My bid was rejected. I think you need to talk to the committee about this. I can't help you. Yes, you can. And you will. Do you know what? I think Rachel really suits you. So get on the phone to your friend. I get my bid reinstated. Otherwise, this lot get to find out who you really are. Uh, where's this coming from? Well, there's a key for your time. I haven't earned the right to be at the front of it. Are you ending it? Why don't we just take things slow? Now that I am back in the running, I need you to make sure that I actually win that contract. You can do that for me, can't you? Amanda. Some old fart to dribble all down. <laughs> You'll be lucky if it's just dribble. Museums provide your husband uniforms and everything. You have to wear smart shoes, they said. So why didn't you then? Know? <laughs> Cheeky sod. <laughs> you alright, Chloe? Looking forward to it? A week cleaning the salon floor. Yeah, I can't wait. Ah, you're wrong, man. This is the business. We're well up for this, aren't we, Sal? Yeah. Hotspot travel. Here we come. <laughs> Dante Charles, making the holiday of your dreams a reality. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hiya. Just wanted to wish you luck. Better than a day stuck in this dump, eh? Anywhere is better than listening to Celine and Dante chat about countries they've never even been to. Better go. See you later. See. Morning! Listen up, everyone. I know you're all keen to get to your placements, so I won't keep you long. Just remember, this is your first step to work. It's not just dressing up pretending to be someone else for a week. It's an opportunity. It'll be as good or as bad as you make it. Don't forget, this is your future. Good luck. God, I hope not. Mopping up pensioners for me for the rest of my life. <laughs> Do that. <laughs> Stuart Oldwood lives here. Really? I thought it was odd. Shall I send him away? It doesn't seem right, not today. No, you know what, it's probably just some technical thing. Send him in, it's fine. Hi. I'm glad I caught you before the bid meeting. My last chance to twist the knife. Come on, don't be so melodramatic. Just wanted to check in with you and make sure that we're both singing from the same hymn sheet. I don't have a choice. Of course you do. You can follow your conscience and back whichever bid you like. But of course, if you do, I'll have to follow my conscience and tell everyone that their beloved head teacher is not quite the woman that she says she is. It's not easy keeping a secret like that, is it? Do you know the ironic thing is I would have probably backed your bid anyway. Without all this. Well, there you go then. It's no big deal. Everyone's happy. Mm -hmm. 
Mr. Dundas. I'm Janice Bright from Waterloo Road. Oh, I love dinosaurs. They're amazing, aren't they? I've watched Jurassic Park like a million times. I do get a bit mixed up with the names, so if you've got a fact sheet, then that's ace. I don't want the kids to get confused because education is dead important. If you've quite finished. Absolutely. Well, we can begin. <laughs> it's going to be brilliant. Right. The nearest loos are there. The fire exits are there. And there. And visitors are not allowed to touch the exhibits. OK. That's it. What? That's what we do. What you'll be doing, any road. Sit here, shut up, stop the punters touching stuff. You're having a laugh, aren't you? This is supposed to be work-related learning. What did you think you'd be doing? Excavating fossils? There you go. You're a natural. You off? Yeah, I'm late already. Listen, I think we might have a problem with the lessons for live group. I've just seen them being taunted by some other kids. Really? Aren't they big enough and ugly enough to look after themselves? Well, it's hardly the point. We wouldn't tolerate it with anyone else in the school. So we set up a support group. Let them share. Uh, you know, I just want it sorted. I want these kids to get the same as everybody else, yeah? And if you can't handle it, then I'll sort it out when I get back. OK, leave it with me. Are you all right? Oh, sorry, it's just a... this whole building process is really getting me down. We're well, convinced the LEA we need it. This is the easy bit. It doesn't matter who builds it. That's easy for you to say. I've had Stuart Hawley knock on my door already this morning. That's no bad thing. At least he's keen. Well, his bid is pretty good. Yeah, yeah, there you go. See, nice bloke too. Seems really switched on. Well, let's hope the LEA agree, hey? Oh, there we go. The wanderer returns. <laughs> Bonjour, tout le monde. Et comment allez-vous? <laughs> Someone's had a good time. Good, Eddie, but busy. Captains of industry, cultural ambassadors, educationalists, all of them very interested in our proposals. Very interested? I suppose to sign on the dotted line? Well, we'll have to see. There was one of them, Claude, from the Cultural Exchange Commission. He is as good as in the bag. Handsome devil to boot. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if a hefty cheque isn't winging its way to us as we speak. Well, I hope so, given the cost of the trip. Oh, talking of which, my expenses. Well, I can't just rely on me feminine wiles. Even though they have served me well up to this point, if the trip's anything to go by. <laughs> anyway, I shall be in my office if you need me. My office? I hope she doesn't mean pastor or care or she's in for a bit of a shock. No wrong to worry that Steph sees fundraising as a form of speed dating. wonder if this guy Claude actually exists. Well, she's finally found something she can put her back into. <laughs> I've really got to go. Do you know, I feel like getting in that car and just keep on driving. It'll be fine. Besides, if you don't go, they'll choose the cheapest option and we'll end up with a shed. Mm -hmm. Go on. Well, the fort. or something. No, of course not. You don't need to keep looking out for me, Tom. I thought that's what friends did. Yeah. Yeah, it is. And, um, if you want to help me, you could fill in for me this morning. That could. Just kicking off with Brantley and the comedy of errors. I'm not that. Yeah. I haven't finished reading it. Um, I'm just snowed under at the moment. What we call as GCSEs and the admin and... and besides, Grantly acts like I'm not there, so what's the point? Well, fair enough. It's not like you have to teach it. No, no, it isn't. I mean, what I meant is, I mean, you're there to support Carla. I mean, you don't have to know absolutely everything about it, yeah. Well, in that case, I'm glad I didn't finish reading it. Anyway, aren't you supposed to be being nice to me? Us being friends and all that. Hmm, if you insist. Well, you can start by making me another cup of coffee. 
I ought to at least be awake. 